Hey everyone, today I'm doing an updated foundation, contouring, bronzing, highlight routine. I got a bunch of new products that I am obsessed with and I feel like I need to share with you guys because... Before I get into the video, I just want to say, I just want to thank you guys for all the love I've been receiving these, honestly like all in general, all the love I received from you guys. I just hit 80,000 subscribers and that is unreal to me. Like just saying that makes my like, I can't even talk. Like that's how I feel, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to thank you guys so much like for subscribing and showing me love and just spreading love through my channel. And yeah, just wanted to say that really quick. Okay, so if you guys wanna know what my current foundation routine is to get this full face of makeup, this flawless base, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and taken a shower, so I washed my face, which I think is one of the most important steps before doing any makeup, because if you don't have a clean base, your makeup is not gonna look flaky. I also went ahead and moisturized. I just picked this up from Ulta. It's the Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream. I used to use this all the time, like I had gone through maybe three or four containers of this, and then I switched over to Lush Moisturizer, but I just decided I wanted to get back into it, and I'm so happy that I did because this is amazing. It smells so good, and my skin feels so hydrated. So now we can just go ahead and get into the makeup. Um, a lot of the products that I am gonna be using today for like my foundation and contour and bronzing routine are actually new. Like I said, when I went to Ulta to pick up that moisturizer, I got a Oh my god, I feel like I'm talking so fast like I can't even breathe. I got a lot of new products, so I've been using them for the past few days now in this routine, and I'm just going to let you guys know what I think of them. I'm going to go ahead and start off by taking my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I've used this before, but I just recently got back into it, and I take about a pump and a half of this and just apply this all over my face. It has coconut water in it and some other stuff, but it just really feels amazing on my skin, and it's so nice to apply this before my makeup because it totally just like preps my skin obviously it's a primer that's what it's supposed to do but like just makes it feel so healthy next i'm going to go ahead and take this Too faced primed and poreless pure uh primer it's oil free skin smoothing face primer for sensitive skin and this is what it looks like um this is a new product i've never well i haven't tried it up until recently I used to use the Benefit Porefessional like every day. That was the only pore filling primer I've ever tried before this one. And I just was so set in using that one that whenever I ran out, I didn't try any other brands. I just would get the same thing. And although it wasn't really working as well as I wanted it to, I just kept repurchasing it. I don't know why, but I decided to try a new product that is supposed to do the same thing like fill your pores and I love this one so much more and this one just blends in so smoothly and it feels great. Next I'm going to move on to foundation. This is another new product that I just recently picked up. It's the new Urban K All Nighter Waterproof Long Wear Liquid Foundation. It's full coverage, matte finish, oil free. This is what it looks like. Um, I got the shade 7.0. I needed to get a new foundation because if you guys saw my chit chat get ready with me first time wearing makeup in 30 days video my foundation was way too dark and i was totally aware but i hadn't worn makeup in 30 days and i hadn't bought makeup in 30 days so i just kind of had to work with what i had but like i said i picked up a lot of new stuff so obviously i had to get a new foundation one that matched me better and i'm just taking one pump of this on my damp beauty blender and i'm going to start blending this into my face also keep in mind, I like to match my foundation to my body because my face is a lot lighter. So if this looks like it doesn't match, it doesn't. Oh my gosh, this really does look orange, but I honestly think it's just the lighting. Like I thought this lighting was good, but like in person, I feel like this looks normal. After I apply my concealer and powder, it'll blend in better. Just don't worry about it guys. It's my neck, my foundation. You just gotta live with it. On the bright side, I'm not mixing foundations anymore, so this is a lot of a this is a lot quicker process. Doesn't take as much time, and my hand doesn't get stained from foundation, so that's great. Okay, so now that I look like an Oompa Loompa, we can move on. <laughs> so something that I do to kind of just neutralize and like even out um, my foundation is take my concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Neutral, 
and I use this to conceal and to highlight my face but I blend it out and as I blend it out into my foundation it kind of like I said neutralizes it so let's just work this magic I never used to put my concealer down the bridge of my nose actually I did and then I stopped but I recently got back into it putting the concealer down the bridge of my nose and in the center of my forehead I used to just use whatever was left over on my beauty blender and blend it out in those areas but you know, I decided to step it up a notch and keep caking it on more. I'm just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender. You know, I'm looking less like a carrot. That's a step. That's a step up. Now I'm gonna just take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, and I swear this literally looks so horrible on camera. Lord help me. I've just got some of the powder in the lid. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to use this to bake anywhere that I applied my concealer. Actually, I'm pretty much baking my entire face. It feels like... Okay, so you're doing your foundation, then your powder. Mm-hmm. And that's setting. Yeah, I just leave it on there for a few minutes, you know. Like cake. Okay, so I just let that sit on my face for a few minutes. Now I'm just going to take a little bit more of that powder on a powder brush, top off the excess, and I'm going to use that to set the rest of my face and also to dust away that loose powder that's already sitting there. I used to use like a powder foundation to set the rest of my face, but I don't want to anymore. Maybe I should put a shirt on so you can't see how off this color is. <laughs> okay that's pretty much it for like my foundation next I go into like bronzing contouring blush and highlighting and all of that stuff and usually I do that right after my foundation but I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick just because I feel like I look really strange so I'm gonna do those off camera and then I'll come back and we can finish up the rest of my face okay so I had a change of heart I did my eyebrows like I told you guys but I also just went ahead and did my eye makeup just cuz like just wanted to get that out of the way. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish up my face. Like I said, I usually would do this right after my foundation, but I didn't really want to look like crazy, so I did the rest of my makeup. After I set my face with my powder, what I do is go in with a blush, if I'm wearing blush that day. Most days I don't, but today I'm going to just because, I don't know, I feel like it. So I'm going to be taking NARS Orgasm Blush, and I'm going to be using a Real Techniques Blush Brush. And I'm just going to lightly apply this on my cheeks. If it's a day that I'm not wearing blush, then I would skip this step and go right into bronzer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot. I haven't used this blush in a really long time. Another NARS blush that I really like is Lovejoy. That is more of like an everyday blush for me. Um, it's more of like a mauve color. This one's way more pink. But um, I'm really feeling it. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to bronzer. This is another new product that I just recently got. It's the Urban K Beach Bronzer in the shade Bronzed. I saw this in one other shade. It was a little bit lighter and a little bit more pink. So I got this one. I like this shade a little bit better. And um, I normally, like, for the longest time, I was using MAC um, Dark Deepest Minimalized Skin Finish for my bronzer. And I still love that. But um, I just wanted to switch it up since I was using that for such a long time. And I'm just using a MAC 187 brush, which is just a large stippling brush. And I'm just going in the hollows of my cheeks just to add a little bit of bronziness. I'm just blending this onto my temples a little bit. My forehead looks smaller than usual, I think. And whatever's left over in my brush, I just bring along my jawline. I put my hair down because I didn't want it to get like kinky like from having it up. So I took it down but that had to go back up. So that's going to be for bronzer. Next I'm going to move on to contouring. I'm taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm using a Real Techniques brush. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to take a very small amount of the darkest shade in the palette and use this on the very like outer half of my cheekbone I used to bring it in kind of closer to the corner of my mouth but I'm just focusing it on the outer part right here um, I feel like that looks a little bit more natural than what I used to do 
Then I'm switching over to a e.l.f. small sibling brush and I'm going to take this lighter shade, just a small amount, go under my bottom lip and I'm going to take a little bit more and go down the sides of my nose very lightly. I don't like a very intense nose contour, I just like a little tiny bit, you know. And that's it for contouring, okay. Next I'm going to move on to highlighting my face. This is another thing that I don't do every single day. Um, that might be like a sin in the makeup world, like everyone loves to like highlight, but I only like to do it sometimes. I'm going to do it today just because I feel like it and also for this video, you know. Sometimes I'll just use one highlighter, sometimes I'll use like three. Today I'm going to use two, I'm going to layer them. I'm going to first take this Laura Geller highlighter. It's the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in the shade Gilded Honey. I just got this recently. I have another Laura Geller um, highlighter and I love it so much that I wanted to get another one and this is so beautiful it's so gold and I'm gonna use this one first and then layer another one on top so I've been kind of switching up my highlighting brushes normally I'll use a MAC 135 brush you know just pop that right there but today I'm gonna be taking an elf blush brush I don't know I just wanted to use it today and I'm gonna take a little bit of MAC fix plus spray it on my brush and this is just gonna make my highlight really really pop So this is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and go on the tip of my nose and also the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Then I'm going to take Becca highlighter and opal and just with the same brush, I'm not going to spray it again with the Fix Plus, I'm just going to take it dry and very lightly just sort of go on top, just a little bit, just to up it. Just to up with that one extra step. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just want to be extra like always. So that's it for like my full foundation, highlighting, contour, and bronzing, blush routine. So yeah, that's it for makeup. I hope that you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful, and I hope that you try some of the products that I used. Um, the lighting is kind of getting a little better, so you can see that I'm actually not looking like a crayon or looking like I forgot to wash off my spray tan. It's fine. So yeah, I hope you guys <laughs> like this. <laughs> so stupid. If you guys have any other requests, of course, just let me know down below. You guys know. It's taken me over like three hours to drink this coffee. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So yeah, please thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.